Okay. Interesting. So, um, <laughs> we got a report from a user, and I confirmed this with a couple other users that they saw the same thing. Um, unfortunately, um, this Teco 32 F4 uh, Mini 45 amp um, is connected to the first motor pad. Um, basically, the first, yeah, the first little motor pad there, similar to the picture we're showing you here. Um, basically, the inner ring, you know, the 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 uh, the metal the, yeah, in the standoff the hole. The copper is connected to the, the copper of the motor pad. Um, this is the case for all four corners and appears to be the same on this new Mini. And we're showing you a picture from an old ESC. This was the yeah. Teco Metal F3. This, is, this um, ESC is from two, three years ago, maybe. Had this problem. Yeah, yeah we, we talked about it on the news. They fixed it um, and they released a new version of the Teco Metal F3. So if you buy that today, some places even have a note like, oh, this is an updated version and don't worry. Um, but uh -huh. unfortunately, it appears that they now have this problem on the Teco um, 32F4 Mini, 45 amp. And uh, yeah, whether so... it's their manufacturer or their choice, you know, whatever. But this is definitely going to be a concern for anybody who does not use, um, like, gummies in the CSE. Yeah. So what you've got, you can almost see it here, Blinty. Uh, you can kind of see that you've got the FETs, and the FETs are outputting current. And you need a big, you see this trace right here, this big honking thick trace is what it looks like. Like the that's the how they've laid it out, and it's carrying all that current. And it looks like one of these FETs, I don't know which one. This is basically the the trace that carries that current to the motor output pad, and it just goes right past this uh, mounting hole. And there's copper on the inside of the mounting hole, and it's conductive. And essentially, it, it uh, if you have metal standoffs, it just basically runs the motor current into the frame and fries. Well, like, for example, if you had your air unit or your Vista or your what other video transmitter metal touching the frame, it could just fry it. Yeah, as we know, even like using screws on an air unit camera can like ground the frame, you know, um, and that depends on like the length of your frame, whether it would make it and the voltage. Like, it's just not something that we should be concerned with. You know, it shouldn't yeah. be a problem. So, so this is 100 percent a design defect. 100 yes. percent. There's no yeah. excuse for this. Yeah. Uh, and to say oh, well, just use plastic. Like, if it was grounded, well, if it was grounded, I would be like, okay, mounting holes are often grounded. That's okay. I, but to put I battery agree. voltage or motor yeah. output is is preposterous. Yeah, it's a problem. And, uh, and again, it's something that they recognize with the Metal F3. They put warnings on their pages and for all their vendors and then updated it to fix it. And that's mm -hmm. something that they have not done with this Mini. And we don't. And as far as I know, they have not updated it because the, all the listings for the Mini are still this, you know, the metal inside of the standoffs yeah. and still appear connected. So, again, I had a couple of users test this. They also saw this, and one user had a huge issue. You know, he saw this early. He tried to basically... He basically, he wanted to use it. He didn't want to throw it away, but he couldn't figure out how to use it without using vibration stand isolators. And um, he basically like bored it out and used a coating to coat mm -hmm. it up. And then eventually the coating rubbed away and shorted. And he had a, yeah, you, know. you could, if you're using gummies, and I assume this ESC uses gummies, although I can't quite tell from the size of the holes, but most ESCs today use gummies. If you're using gummies, they will electrically isolate until the day that they rub through or something dumb yeah. like that. And then you short circuit and, yeah, or even and a you crash fry something. The stack, no, the stack it's bends or whatever's going to happen. It's just, yes, it's not not something that should happen. So. No. Uh, somebody in the chat, uh, Jekli in the chat, argues that it might be a, not a design fault, but maybe it happened when they were doing the PCB routing. Wherever, from the customer's perspective, it's a de it's a defective product. Is my point. Don't yeah. buy this ESC, and that's a shame because Holy Bro ESCs, I think, uh, have been pretty decent. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, don't buy the CSC. Holy bro, fix this. What yep. the F? This is unacceptable. So, okay. And, uh, yep. And I would also ask that like vendors who still have these put warnings out and make sure people know that they buy them. Good like, point. Again, like I wasn't super happy with the tech of metal, but at least there were warnings. At least people were told to use vibration standoffs. And so, um, yeah, at yeah. least like that amount of clarity. Yep. Okay. Well, we All could right. uh, try to contact stores that are selling this and tell them that this is an issue. I don't, I don't know. But we're That's doing true. our part to try to get the uh, word out.